Hi, welcome to my channel, Shanna Makes It. I'm so glad you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, I just wanna thank you for your following me and for your subscription, as it is so helpful to my new and growing channel. If you're new, I'd like to welcome you and ask that you would consider subscribing. I'm so glad to have you here, and I hope that you'll enjoy um, what I'm crafting and um, enjoy the content, and hopefully you'll learn something from it and maybe share something that I can learn from. So welcome, and I just wanted to discuss last in my last video I mentioned the the card kits I actually was using an old card kit um, that I had some remnants left and I actually pulled a piece of paper from this card kit from December so this is a newer card kit it is last month um, but you know with Christmas and all the Christmas crafting and everything I didn't have a lot of chance to spend with this in fact I haven't used the die cuts or anything out of it yet so I thought I'd just share with you what um, comes in the kit, in case you haven't seen them. I have shown these before, but you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes from um, Spellbinders. You also get, and I'm going to grab them here, it, it comes in this nice little box. Um, but you also get nine sheets of cardstock. And so you've got a pink, a white, a brown, a yellow, green, two different shades of blue the gold mirror and then another pink a lighter pink is what you get in that so a real nice um selection of cardstock in addition to that you get a nice paper pack and this was the paper pack that i used that sheet from in my last video um, but you get you know a lot of different patterns and these are really pretty um, light patterns pink light blue some gray and some variety so that's a really nice paper pack. In addition to that, you get some stickers. These are like little puffy stickers that have different sentiments on it. And those are those are very nice as well. And then you get the ephemera or the die cut shapes um, included. I haven't opened it yet, but um, I, I do wind up using a lot of those. You get the stamping set. The best times are with you. Love. This is all, you know, stuff that you could use for Valentine's Day or, or for someone you love or family or friends. And then you get um, the dies, which I haven't pulled out and put into my on my magnets yet because I just haven't even opened them. But these are the Lovebird dies. So you get the you get the branch, some leaves, and some flowers, and then the birds. So I'll be working with that today. In addition to that, they give you um, the double sided tape and some foam dot, foam square foam um, to elevate your card. And you get some frames, and there's some real cute frames in here. I haven't opened these yet. Hopefully, I won't make too much noise. Um, but you get several different frames. Some hearts, some ovals, squares, and some pink, blue, and different. So you've got these frames that you can work with as well. So I'll be putting those aside. And in addition to that, you also get, and I kind of went out of order, um, I guess these are chipboard embellishments that you get. So I like those. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. You are loved. And it is on two sides. And you get a lot of hair. Just the greatest. You always bring a smile to my face. So those are really, really neat. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. And um, I'm happy to say that I got my lighting issues resolved. I was able to buy a real inexpensive overhead light um, that actually just hangs and um, on a nice little hook and it was very inexpensive I only paid $40 for it and it is illuminated my craft table just so well so I'm excited about it this is the first time I'm actually working on my desk with the new light so I'm thrilled to have it um, because I was really struggling with light I had been looking at the Cricut um, desk lamp and the floor lamp, and golly gee, they're just so expensive. I think the, the desk lamp was $199. Um, of course, I got the $10 or 10% discount from being a Access member, but still very expensive. So um, I found this one for $40, and I was thrilled um, to get it and to improve the lighting and hopefully improve the lighting in my videos. So um, let me know what you think. Okay. So I've got all my paper cut um, down to size what I'm going to die cut out. So I'm going to die cut, the, and I'm using all of the paper that was in the kit. 
well, not all of it, but I'm using the paper that was included in the kit. Um, so I'm going to die cut out of the brown. I'm going to die cut the branch, and I'm going to do several of those because I'm going to layer them. I've got the eyes, the plumes for the bird's head, and I've got both the bird's legs. So I'm going to do all of that out of the brown. Out of the yellow, I'm going to do the flowers, and I'll do several of those out of it. Um, that yellow is just not really my favorite color, but it's what it was included, so I think I'm going to use it anyway. We'll see how that goes. And then with the leaves, I've got this green that I'll be cutting it out, and that was in the kit, and I will cut several of those out so that I can layer them as well. And then for the birds, I'm going to do one blue, one blue and one pink, and I'm going to use for the, the bellies the pink and the blue so that I can mix and match, and then the tail feathers blue and pink. And then the wings, blue and pink as well, is what I'm going to do. In the example, they show that in green, but I'm, I'm not sure if I want the green, so I'm going to try just to rotate the colors on there just to see see how that looks. So um, I'll go to my die cutting machine and I'll get all this cut out and we'll begin putting our card together. Okay, so I've got all these pieces um, die cut out. And man, these little plumes and these little legs um, for the birds are just teeny tiny and the little um, beaks are um, teeny tiny the little eyes so um, let's go ahead and get a, get our card assembled so I've got our card base and this is one of the spellbinders cards that's in the kit the base is and then I I use some of spellbinders navy paper it wasn't in the kit but I just love this navy and so I just used an A2 um, die to cut it down um, so that I have a nice white frame around the outside of that navy blue. So I've got that in there. And um, then I have also cut out, um, and this is some of the pattern paper that is in that paper pad. So I'm just going to put that in the center. I thought it kind of pulled in most of the colors that are in the card or in the, the die cutting other than the green. So I thought that would make a nice little base, just light, real light and kind of whimsical. So I'm just going to glue my base and put it down. Get my corners. Even on there. That looks good. It's got a nice frame around it. I like that. All right, we'll do the same to my piece of paper. I'm just using my Barely Art glitter glue, precision craft glue, I guess I should say. laid down try to pick, put a nice frame around it as well I think I like that I got a little glue I gotta clean up there just got a little heavy-handed with the glue hopefully that'll dry up nicely it usually does dry clear so hopefully it'll be all right and then we've got our just our panel on there I think that's cute that's super cute okay so then what I did with my um, my branch is that I layered it. There's actually three of these, so I die, die cut out three of them and then just stacked them so that I'd have a little bit of dimension on there. This is so fine, you're not gonna be able to do any, well, I suppose you could, but I, I don't think I can do any foam lifting or anything. So I just have three layers on there and I'm going to try and be as careful with my glue as possible because I don't want to seep through. I'll probably maybe clean a little bit off just so I don't get make a mess with it. I think I am going to just blot. I've got I'm just going to blot a little bit of that because that's got a little too heavy handed there on that. Okay and then I'm going to
just kind of lay it down on my card base. I'm going to go on. I think we'll assemble our, um, our birds next. So what I've done with them is I've got a couple of layers of it, of my cardstock to just kind of strengthen them and make them be more stable. Um, so I think first, so before I lose these, I'm going to try and set my eyes in there because I don't want to lose those. Those are such small pieces. I'm just going to try and set those on there so I don't lose those. I'm going to go ahead and take the other one. This is our Mel bird. I'm going to do the same and get his eye in there so I don't lose them. Maybe. If I can get it to set down in there. There we go. Got a little bit of glue on top there. I'm going to kind of clean it off. Then I'm going to move them because I've got some glue underneath there that I don't want to glue them down to my mat. So there's that. Um, this one I actually already glued on there. So I'm going to go ahead and lay his belly on there as well. And I'm just going to try and get my glue, try and get it in between some of these areas where those dots are so that maybe it won't seep through. I've got one that I don't like, so I'm going to wipe that off as well. There we go. And then, let me see, I'm going to try and lay his breast feathers on there. Get it laid down on there. That looks nice. And I'm not certain that I'm, if I'm, you know, I was thinking alternating the, the pink feathers on the blue bird and not doing the green, but I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not, so I did go ahead and cut, um, this one out in case I wanted to add that layer and have the green on there. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to put them together and, and kind of lay it out and see how I like it. And if I decide I need it, I'll add the, the green later. So I'm going to go ahead and put my blue feathers on my pink um, bird. Just kind of smooth that out. Just right. Okay, I want it to. I'm just trying to position it how I want it. I think I want to do it like that. Just position it on there like that. And then I'll put my blue breast. And I will tell you, these pop out very easily, but this is definitely a time when you want your little desk sweeper because you're going to have these little, little inserts from that on your desk. So you want to sweep those up. Just trying to get in between those little circles so that maybe my glue won't seep out too bad. And then I'm just going to lay it down. And we've got that on there. Now these little beaks that we have for these are just a teeny, a tiny. So we're gonna, they, and they make, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna hold it up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is, let me get this tool here, right here, it just shows you exactly where the beak goes. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you can see that. See that little area, it just shows you exactly, and it's on both of them so that you know exactly where to put that. So I'm just gonna take and put the tiniest, maybe, tiniest little glue dot there. And I'm just gonna pick up my beak and set it down on it. That's cute. I think I'll let it dry. I got a little bit of glue there. I need to just let it dry a little bit. There. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then the other bird's head is turned the other way. Let me just show you. So you can see his beak is going to go on this side. Super cute. Super cute. 
the detail on these um, Spellbinder dies are just unbelievable. Love them. Now you have to have, I guess, a little bit of patience um, because you're going to do some, you know, very intricate assembly on the birds. I think we'll go ahead and put the plumes on the back of the head. So I'll just add a little bit of glue to the back and then I'm going to pick them up and hopefully be able to glue them on. Oops, I got to get my tweezers to let go of them and then just kind of work them around where you need them to be. up a little bit. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. We'll do the next one same way, a little bit of glue on there. Not too much, don't want to get crazy. And then lay that on there. It's, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to get it on there and keep it in frame and all that. Oh my gosh, how darling is that? I don't know, I think I'm liking the um, the blue and the pink on there. I think I am. I think that's all right, I think maybe. Okay, so now we've got these teeny tiny little feet to deal with. So I think what we're gonna do is put, we'll put one on the front and I've got a little bit too much glue there, so I'm just gonna try and wipe that off a little bit. And we're gonna put one on the front so that you have the front leg. Oh, come on, turn it over. And put it on the front. So we have the front leg. Like that. And then we'll put some glue on the back glue down the back leg so that we've got one in front and one in back. Just cleaning up some glue there. I'm just pinching out. Is that adorable or what? Okay, so that's that one. So we're going to do the same to this one. I got to get my feet turned in the direction that I want. I think the longer one goes, you know, in the front. And I don't have a lot of space here for this one. I probably could have put my, my, um, breast feathers a little bit further up, but I think it's gonna be just fine. So I've got that on there. And then I need to put my other one on the other side. to pick it up with my tweezers because they're so small but I don't I'm not sure I'm not, okay well it's just gonna work just as easy this way so and then I need to position this one so that we have it like that there so very very cute very cute okay I was trying to clamp that down a little bit okay so those are super, super cute. Okay, so let's um, let's see how that looks with our pink and our blue. I think that looks cute. Yeah. So if I chose to use the green, it would look like this. adds a little I think I'm gonna wait I'm gonna go ahead and set the glue these down and then add my other embellishments my flowers and my my um, leaves and see how it looks and then lay it on there and see if we like it so um, 
let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some glue on here and get these laid down. And I want to get them to where their feet, oh gosh, I almost forgot to put on their tail feathers and I've got the same situation with this. Do I want the green or do I want the pink on there? I think I'm, I'm going to lay the tail feathers down. Um, down already and just I'm gonna make a decision here I think not to use the not to use the green on that I'm gonna add some glue to that as well and then I'm just gonna get it positioned on my branch that is adorable Oh my goodness. Okay. So I need to get the tail feathers on here as well. I've got some glue showing there. Let's see if I get that glue out of there. Okay. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm making a decision that we're not going to use the green. I think I need to put a little bit on these things here, too, so that they will stay down. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. I think I need a little bit on the back. I'm afraid those will, if I don't put those down, I'm afraid those might come off. They might break off. I don't know. Anyway, does that look cute? I think it looks cute. Okay, so let's just start working on um, building our um, em embellishments on the our leaves on the trees, on the tree branch. So I think what we need to do is to just start building our, I think this one goes, actually goes over here. And then I think you put a couple of them on the, this one. I suppose you can do whatever you want. I'm just kind of following, I guess, a guide to it, the guide tip. And I doubled these up, is what I did. So, whoops. Do a little dance there with my, my glue. I'm gonna do two on this. stay. There we go. All right, and then we'll do a couple of leaves over here. And it looks like I have more leaves than what I probably need, but that's okay. We'll save them for later. Push them down. Okay, now I also, um, cut out some pink flowers because I thought, well, do I want pink flowers or do I want to use yellow? But I think because I have the yellow hearts in there, I am going to go ahead and use the yellow flowers. So I'm going to actually layer, I didn't layer these ahead of time, so I'm going to take and just layer a couple of them. Layer them up just to give them, make them a little bit thicker. That's what I'm going to do. Just layer that up. I'm just going to put a dot of glue on there. 
and then I'll just set that down on there. And then I kind of cheated on the, um, the flower centers. I didn't want to use, didn't want to keep moving this little teeny tiny thing on my paper and doing it. So I just grabbed my crocodile and I just punched out a little, whole bunch of little circles that I could use for this. I'm getting messy with my glue. So I'm just gonna lay that down on there and that'll be my center. And then again, I'm gonna glue a couple of these together. And then I'll line them up. talking so softly. Hopefully you can hear me. Not sure if I got them lined up completely right in the right direction there. All right, so we'll just pick that up and set that down on that little glue spot. And then I'll grab me another little circle here. Uh-oh, turned over on me. Just gonna lay that in there. So that is super cute. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Um, we need to add a little sentiment to it, so I just need to um, do a little looking and see what I want to put on there. So um, we'll put something okay, on. So I pulled out my little um, sentiments that came in the kit and was looking it over and um, it's pretty light, but I think I want to make this an anniversary card and put happy anniversary on there. I think that'll be super cute. So I'm going to just peel that off. That's pretty sticky. I might put a little bit of glue in the glue on there just in case. But it feels pretty sticky, so I think it'll be all right. And then I'm going to put it down here. And I think this will be a really cute anniversary card. I'm just gonna stick that down. And then while I was looking, I saw something else that I wanted to add. I'm gonna take this little banner here and add it to the other corner. If I can get the packaging open. Okay, here we go. This is just really, really cute. I mean, this little kit is so cute. So I'm just gonna pull that little banner out and I am gonna add, do the same thing, put a little bit of glue on there just in case tweezers and I'm just gonna add that and I think that looks cute so there we go so there's our card um, happy anniversary and super cute and it's from the love grows here December spellbinders card kit of the month so I don't I didn't check to see if they're still available um, but I will check, and if they are, I'll certainly link them up. But I thought this was certainly cute and wanted to share it with you. I hope you like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.